Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Gay for Scratch, and today we have an interesting metric about Godot Engine's growing popularity, and I think the amount of it might surprise you. And the source of this data is the GMTK. Now, Game Master's Toolkit is a long-running game development YouTube channel, and they've run a game jam for a number of years. Uh, this has been, you know, it tracks about, say, 7,000, 8,000 uh, submissions overall, so it's one of the bigger game jams out there, and they just had the Game Jam 2024. Now, a couple of these games have actually gone on to become full-blown commercial releases, uh, which is very cool, but that's not really the idea here. The idea is to craft a game over a weekend, uh, but the cool thing here is uh, the Game Maker Toolkit actually releases um, information on what game engines were used to make said games, and we're going to look at those uh, actual releases going back uh, several years now. So first off, we have data going all the way back to 2020, and here you can see the breakdown. So there were 5,259 games submitted to the GMTK. Of that, 63% of those were using Unity. Of that uh, remaining number, we have 12% using Godot and 11% using GameMaker. Uh, and then the rest of the pie, which is math in my head here, 14% uh, I believe were made in other engines. I'm gonna be honest, I'm finding that a little shocking. You would have thought like frameworks and other things like say RPG Maker uh, would be used a lot more, uh, but that's not the case. Anyways, those are the 2020 numbers. So 5,200 games made and Godot has a 12% share. Well, obviously you can see Unity is the monster here in the indie game space at 63%. And then we move on to 2021. And you can see Unity is holding pretty much steady. It went from 63 to 61. Uh, you got roughly the same number of games. A couple hundred more were created overall. 13% uh, for Godot, 9% for Game Maker, and it's actually Other that grew the most. We go back here, 12%. 13%. So there was a little bit of growth for Godot, 1% growth year over year. Nothing that you would ever make a YouTube video about, for example. Uh, but, you know, slow and steady. Uh, unfortunately, you did see Game Maker lose some ground there. Game Maker f had some struggling years, definitely. Uh, I think they're a little resurgent now, but we will find out. And then the other category grew a bit as uh, we saw 1% loss here, 1% uh, gain here. 3% here, so other grew about 5 or 6% overall. Then we move into 2022. You will notice we are up over 6,000 games created right now, and Unity is still holding strong. We got 61% of games were created using the Unity game engine, and we're going to see a little bit more growth there. So I think we saw 3% growth there for Godot usage pretty solid. So you're seeing growth there. Uh, you're also seeing continued shrinkage from Game Maker. So it's interesting, you're not really seeing the Unity users going to Godot. You seem to be using, seeing the Game Maker users go to Godot. Uh, and I think Other is also a little bit bigger than it was before. So what you're seeing here is very steady, consistent usage by Unity. Uh, Godot growing, you know, growing over time, year over year, a couple percentage each time. Game Maker shrinking each year. Uh, and then that other category fluctuating slightly. And we come up to last year, and what you're going to see here is, again, some small reductions for uh, Unity here. So Unity, you're going from, where were we at last time? 61 uh, down to 59. Again, not the kind of things that sets off alarm bells by any means, but definitely seeing growth on the Godot side of things. In 2023, I was used to make 19 of the games. Uh, we saw over here, 16, so 3% growth there. And uh, they seem to have mostly stopped the bleeding over at Game Maker, uh, where you're looking at uh, 5% versus uh, six percent so one percent growth loss uh, for game maker and other seems to be pretty steady in its size and that leads us to today now what you saw is fairly linear growth you can definitely see Godot picking up a little bit of uh, momentum here in 2023 but let's see what 2024 has to show boom that is a lot of growth. Now, first off, this is the first year where they actually listed out other, uh, which I kind of wish they did all along, so I didn't have to do any mental math. But you can see in 2024, by the way, a lot more games created. Oops, I went the wrong way. So we've got uh, 6,835 games in 2023, whereas here we are now in 2024. We're looking at 7,711 games here. But the big thing that you're going to see, Unity plummeted 59 down to 43 and do keep in mind having 43 percent of the market share is still a majority but you can get an idea of how um damaging 2023 late 2023's actions were 
for Unity, and it's very, very much being reflected here. But look at this. Gajo jumps up to 37%. Game Maker holds pretty steady. There's actually more games being created. Uh, out of the pie, out of the total, but the percentage stayed pretty flat. Unreal Engine is here. I can't imagine using Unreal Engine for a game. Hell, it takes more than a weekend to build half the time. But 5% of people were using Unreal Engine that year, and then we've got the 10% category really shrunk down. So I think what they might be done is uh, Unreal Engine was always part of Other, so I think it, they just broke out Unreal Engine. I'm not 100% certain on that, but that's what it looks like. And if you do that, the, part, the, the pie graph for Other stays pretty consistent in size. Um, so I think that's what they have been doing. So in the previous years, other just included. So if we slice off this little chunk right here, that's probably your 5% Unreal Engine. So I think it's been pretty static in that regard. But again, 19% or 1,278 games jumps to 2,838 or 37%. So if you look at this, you can almost guarantee at the current growth rates that you're going to see a reversal in the most popular game jam engine here, at least for this particular game engine. Now, again, grain of salt, this doesn't, you know, we're not reflecting the usability in the world of AAA. This is, game jams are a different world. The entire idea behind them is being uh, as quickly productive as fast as possible. And generally, you're making very small in scope games. So uh, this doesn't mean that Unity is now the, uh, you know, only slightly more popular than the Godot game engine. It is still being used to make more mobile games, more commercial games, etc. But this in the indie space, uh, especially in the game jam space, is a pretty massive shift. So that is a huge amount of growth to the 2024 game jam result. And these literally just happened a couple of weeks ago or a couple of days ago even. Uh, so it's not uh, that, uh, yeah, it's not that big of a deal per se. Uh, but if you are in the Godot team and you're looking at indie adoption, uh, pretty damn good numbers. And if you're on the Unity team looking at uh, the opposite of adoption, uh, pretty scary numbers. So let me know what you think of these numbers, of this game jam in general, of game jams in general. Do they reflect anything? Is there anything we can learn from this? The one thing I find is these are the tools that people choose to use when given the choice. So that that's always kind of an interesting thing. But also by nature, game jams also tend to be much more amateur, uh, very beginner level developers a lot of times. Although some uh, sometimes it is quite experienced developers. But again, take everything with a grain of salt, but it is definitely an interesting data point and it does does show um, the Godot game engine's momentum, in my humble opinion, and it also shows a worrying trend for Unity. Uh, so let me know what you think. Comments down below. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.